Welcome back to the channel. Welcome back to the vlog. I'm David Carroll, your Las Vegas realtor with Signature Real Estate Group. And today we're here at Rancho Crossing by Beezer Homes. We're right off of Jones and Rancho Crossing. We're about five minutes to the Santa Fe Station Casino. You got great access to the 95 in just a few minutes to get to the I-215. And today we're gonna to be featuring the Sequoia model. It's a five bedroom, three and a half bath with a two bay garage. 2719 square feet and today's starting price is four hundred and thirty eight thousand nine hundred and ninety dollars let's have a look around all right we've made it inside the gate let me tell you a little bit about rancho crossing here by beezer hoa is only 55 dollars a month no sid or no lid fees build time out here is roughly about four to five months and we've been seeing lot premiums about six thousand they actually do have some lots available now how about that uh, this las vegas market is hot and Tell me your experience. Have you been searching for a home? Have you been finding what you've been looking for out there? Let me know. Do got the paver stone driveway included here. Got the seven foot garage door with the coach lighting. They do have four elevations to choose from out here at Rancho Crossing. You got the Mediterranean, the Prairie, Spanish Colonial, and the Mid-Century. Just taking a look at these elevations here on their models, I don't see any of the Mid-Century, but that is definitely the one I would choose. The step-ups are about two to 4,000, depending on which elevation you choose. Take a quick peek around the side here. Looks like we have our water main line, hose bib, water meter, 200 amp panel. Here down below, we have our irrigation. Looks like we have the tankless hot water heater included. Very cool. Now the HOA does include a gate. They have about a total of about 50, 56 lots left currently. They're about half sold. Once you go to contract, it's about six to eight weeks from to frame. Two weeks after contract, you will be going to the design studio. They have a total of 173 home sites out here. All right, let's head inside and take a look around. As soon as we walk up, we've got the covered porch, single LED. We're looking at a seven foot entry door. I do like that green color. Let's head inside. Welcome to the Sequoia. Over 2,700 square feet. And here is your entryway. Looking at nine foot ceilings, seven foot doors. They do got the speakers because it's a model. Take a look down on the floor. We got some 12 by 36 upgraded tiles. Looks like they got the cross pattern. I think I would go with the flow of the house. Looking at a three and a half inch baseboard, orange peel texture. Now right here on the entry we have a nice little coat closet. Doesn't get too cold here in Vegas, only a few months out of the year. What do we got here? Do we have a modern window? Very nice. And here we are, got some upgraded stair railing. These are the mission style with a beautiful stain to it. And here is your dining room, kitchen and living room. All blended together. I do like these modern windows here on the side. Take a look at those. And here in the living room, it looks like we got a five foot slide. Take a closer look at this one. Now here in the backyard, the, the lot sizes are about 3,000, about 3,100 square feet roughly. You're gonna get about a 22 to 23 foot setback. So this model's pretty good. Got the paver stone option out back. Now here at Beezer Homes, they have a couple different configurations you can do with the kitchen and the bathroom. They let you choose two different options. Let me see if we can take a look right here. So you get to choose your kitchen. And what that's gonna do, it's gonna rearrange your kitchen island, kitchen sink, possibly your refrigerator, where it's gonna go. But those are free options that you can choose. Now they do have a gourmet kitchen upgrade. It's about 4,400. Now take a look at this island. This one's definitely oversized and upgraded. Got a beautiful granite. You know, when I see granites like this, it almost makes me want to sway more towards the granites. Although I love my quartz. Got the trim around the island and this island is oversized. Look at that. Got the Blanco undermount sink. I usually see these priced around 800 to 1000, sometimes a little more if you go with the stainless steel versions. Got a nice upgraded hardware. This one one of my clients, I think, just picked this one out yesterday. Very cool. Take a look down below. 
Got nice upgraded doors, upgraded stain, and the pools are an upgrade. Got your garbage disposal switch down below. Very good. If we take a look at the drawers. Looks like we have the stapled on. These are almost like a dovetail, but these are stapled. I like this better than the slide glides. Do have the undermount glides on this one. Now let's swing it around to the other side of the kitchen. More cabinetry and storage. I love this area. So great to prep up. It's got the upgraded backsplash, upgraded counters. That's a nice design. Looking at 42 inch cabinetry with the crown molding. Optional Whirlpool refrigerator. Now here in the kitchen, the you're gonna get the range and the microwave. It will come in black, so this is an upgrade. Take a closer look, got the four, actually that's a five burner. Got the Whirlpool microwave above, and is this one venting out? It has to be, it sure is. Very nice kitchen, I like with that large island. Now this family room's roughly about 19 by 15 square feet. Now right behind the kitchen we have our pantry. Great size. Walk-in pantry, four days, I love it. And right behind the kitchen we have a little valet area, that's an upgrade. Do have your half bath for guests. I like how it's all tucked right behind the kitchen. Got the standard pedestal sink, standard hardware by Moen. And the blue accent paint, it sure is sucking in that light, that is for sure. Now the toilets, these are elongated toilets. That looks like the standard height. I think I would choose like a comfort height toilet. Now here's access to our two car garage. It does have the tankless hot water system, but it's currently locked. And let's see what they have on the calendar. Team dinner. Now right here in the back, we also have some more storage. Here's your storage under the stairs. Equipped with the coat rack, very good. All right, so that's our kitchen, dining room, and living room. We do have one bedroom here on the first floor. Let's have a look. Right in the rear of the house, this is bedroom number five. Almost 10 by 11, seven square feet. Has been equipped with the upgraded LEDs and the pre-wire with the fan. Got the slide-in closet, seven foot doors. Here on the floor, we do have an upgraded carpet. It has one of those heavy, heavy pads. And when you go to the design studio, you'll see the options for the pads. I don't know if I like that heavy, thick pad. Makes me feel like I'm treading through the carpet. I like maybe a medium pad. Medium pad's a perfect way to go. Got the standard walk-in shower. All fiber class, dual drying areas. It's got the chrome hardware equipped. And you got the single top mount sink, standard hardware, and this is the upgraded top to match the kitchen and the cabinetry. Also upgraded here on the flooring. You're gonna get tile in all the wet areas, carpet in the dry. I like that window, very modern. So tall. I like a window in my bathroom. So that's our downstairs. Let's go ahead and head upstairs, take a look around. All right, as soon as we come up the stairs, we run right into the loft. Let me just take a little step back so you can see it. 12 by 15, four, great size. I love accent walls, but the dark colors definitely pull in the light. We got some upgraded can lighting, looks like three total. Very cool. I like a loft, what a great place. My daughter would just have all her toys up here, so she would probably turn this into her room area. You know how that goes. Now right off the loft, we have our primary bedroom, 1611 by 156. What a large room. As soon as you come in, you can just see this wide open space. They got the king size bed and it is just soaking it up in here. Dual windows. It's gonna be in the mid 80s today here in Las Vegas. Light winds today, probably about five to 10 miles an hour. Yep, they've sold about half of this community. So get in while you can, the prices keep going up. Have you seen how hot this Las Vegas market is? Oh my goodness. I'll find you a home though. Now here in the primary, again, here you're gonna have a couple options. Let's take a look at their sheet. Which layout, so you have two, 
two options you can do makes your walk-in closet bigger you can go with the standard tub and shower got more upgraded granite this is beautiful come standard with the four inch backsplash take a look at the hardware above now when you i would probably go with the standard what they what they uh choose this looks like an upgrade but i would go with the standard now you will have the choice to change if you want chrome or brushed for sure now let's take a look at this wow this is definitely the configuration I would go with. They have upgraded it with the granite slab. It's got the quarter inch glass. And the modern window above. It is frosted, unfortunately. This window, I wouldn't mind if it wasn't frosted because you really don't need too much privacy up there. We are on the second floor. And here's the walk-in closet. Great size, wood shelving love this little area here oh and that one's even smaller this one's just perfect look at that i could probably fit all my clothes maybe on that now here on the other side of the primary bath you have this second walk-in very cool more storage for me here and your water closet nice and private with the door and have a look at this little coat closet here. Such a, I love these skinny doors. Nice and deep. Is a two panel door standard, seven foot. And that is our primary bedroom. Good size. I love the feel. I love it when the builders put more square footage into the rooms. Really makes a difference. Now right to the right, we have our laundry room. Look at the size of this one. Got attic access, equipped, single LED. Do have fire sprinklers installed. Washer and dryer are optional and they have upgraded the tile flooring here as well. Standard shelving. I do like this mission stair railing. One of the most impressive upgrades you can do is the stair railing for sure. The options I'm going to choose though is if there's a balcony option, I'm getting the balcony. If there's that super shower option, I'm getting the shower. All right, now here's bedroom number four, 1011 by 1111 square feet. Another large room. 10 by 10 is a little small, but 11 by 12-ish is good size in my opinion. Does have the walk-in closet. Take a closer look. Not bad at all. This room is also upgraded with the LEDs and the fan pre-wire. Now, customers out here are spending about five to 10% in upgrades, maybe about $15,000, $20,000. I wanna slide out of this bedroom. We have another coat closet. Another linen closet. Wow, I love these deep linen closets. You can literally hide in there. Got your Honeywell thermostat. Now here's bedroom number three, 10, 11 by 12, six, another large one. Dual windows, I love that modern window here on the side. So cool. So you got the small and the large, let's take a look at this. It is a gated community. We're right here off of Jones and Rancho here in Las Vegas. We are pretty close to the North Las Vegas airport, so you will see planes flying around. They are smaller in size usually, it's a smaller airport, but something to note. Look how large this walk-in closet is for this bedroom with the window. I do approve of that. While we're here, I want to show you the casings around the door. Nice three inch. Right across, we have our shared bathroom. It is equipped with a dual top mount sink, standard hardware. Got the standard tub and shower combo. All fiberglass. Now here's bedroom number two, 11 by 11, six. Probably the smaller out of the five, but it is good size. And another one of those mirror, uh, windows mirrors that other bedroom, fantastic. And has this little niche area too, so it gives you a little bit more space here in the corner. And are we gonna do the quarterback sneak or are we gonna do the Hail Mary? Let me know. Let's 
take a slide back. We do have the sliding closet, and I do want to point out that this one is deeper than a, than I usually see. A lot of square footage in there. Well, what do you guys think? That's the Sequoia model here at Rancho Crossing by Beezer Homes here in Las Vegas. If you'd like any more information, give me a call anytime. And if you like the video, hit that like button, hit subscribe, and we'll see you on the next one.